Welcome back. We're celebrating 600 episodes of NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen and digging into some of the tough issues facing the cattle industry. Cattlemen and women often face an onslaught of rules and regulations that can impact their day-to-day -day work. We ask Ethan Lane, Executive Director of the Public Lands Council and NCBA Federal Lands, to weigh in on what the midterm elections mean for those who raise cattle on public lands. Well, Kevin, the most immediate impact we're going to see in the West with the results of the election is the loss of the House and the subsequent elevation of committee chairman for those key committees like the House Natural Resources Committee, uh, members like Raul Grijalva. He will be the new chairman of the, of the House Natural Resources Committee. He's a Democrat from Southern Arizona. And unfortunately, he is one of the most radical anti-grazing activists in Congress. Uh, he has a few others on his committee, unfortunately from my home state of Arizona as well, members like Ruben Gallego, um, who have been very aggressive in, in pursuing uh, punitive legislation against ranchers in the West, against multiple use principles. Um, and, and we're going to really have our hands full battling those forces in the House Natural Resources Committee. Now, obviously on the minority side, Chairman Bishop, who will now become ranking member Bishop, um, has been a strong ally and a friend of our industry, and we expect him to continue to be uh, uh, that ally in his new role in the minority. Um, but it is going to have a, a, a ma major impact on our legislative abilities on Capitol Hill. The landscape will be very different. Obviously, we'll see those types of impacts in the appropriations world as well. Um, you know, less so in this new dynamic that we have where uh, Senator Shelby, who is now in charge of appropriations on the Senate side, um, has taken a very bipartisan approach, which has effectively stripped out a lot of the policy making we've seen in the past in the appropriations process. So we expect that to be less of a factor than it's been in past Congresses. But on the policy side, we will definitely be spending a lot of time um, killing bad ideas and bad legislation, quite frankly, coming out of the newly Democratic House of Representatives.